Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we're going to talk about whether you should summon for the Omega Shenron right now Legends of Bitsy character that has come to DB Legends. Now I want to talk about Omega Shenron, I want to talk a little bit about obviously Raid Shenron as well because I think Raid Shenron, uh, although Omega Shenron is very good, Raid Shenron is also for a sparking unit very very solid so you know yeah, well, we'll talk about it, but basically, Omega Shenron, look, really, really good. Uh, you know, main ability, 20 health, 20% health back, 40 key, all that's fine. Reduces enemy key, very fitting in the current meta. But it's really his, like, abilities that he has when he enters the battlefield, and then also on top of that, the amount of utility he provides for other units, that's very big. So, one of the first major things is he has notification of unfavorable element factors for damage and damage received um, whenever he enters the battlefield which is huge makes him really tanky um, really allows you to stop the flow of the opponent he seals their special arts card as well which is huge and that can activate twice so it's all very 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 intense then on top of that as well okay if they're inflicted with an abnormal condition so that's poison paralysis Okay, then he seals the enemy card slot up to one simultaneously and it cannot be used for 10 time accounts. He has poison and paralysis coming out of his ears. Uh, he has poison and paralysis on his strike, 100% chance of poison, blast, 100% chance of poison, green card, um, has the ability to restore his own key, buff him, inflict attributes with a downgrade uh, and destroy enemy cards as well. His blue, heavy bleed, 20% chance to faint. His ultimate arts, okay, doesn't really apply in effect, but what his ultimate arts does, which is nuts, okay, gives a plus 20% special move damage inflicted by tag, VT, powerful opponent, or region characters. So even if, and plus 20% to ultimate and awaken damage. So even if, okay, you can like miss the attack or whatever your blue like just firing off your ultimate arts boosts the damage of your allies for the rest of combat which honestly is pretty nuts especially if they gt regen they're getting like two 20 percent buffs which is pretty big and then on top of all of that as well when cannot be defeated has been ended so his unique edge he boosts the damage of everyone else as well so basically he has that whole unique gauge health reduction revival thing he destroys all your opponent's cards he provides a 40 percent total buff to your allies like off of his blue and his unique gauge he himself is very very tanky and utility focused with reduction of key generation of key paralysis poison it's really nuts the amount of things that he can do like really 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 nuts the amount of things that he can do so he goes pretty nuts like right off the bat he's huge for region powerful opponent and gt i almost want to say he's a must have like he is making him and ultra gogeta and red shenron and like GT Zenkai buffing is ridiculous right now. That team is ridiculous right now. Um, but Regen also absolutely ridiculous right now. So he's meshing really well with so many different characters. And I would say, you know, much like how MVP 17 was really, really good for the, um, you know, vibe of like the universal survival saga the reps category this guy feels like that but for gt po and regen so this omega shenron is just feeling very crazy like very crazy right now i genuinely think he's probably one of the top legends in the game and he's following up an incredibly strong ultra for gt so if you summon for ultra gogeta and you're looking for someone to make him unstoppable this Shenron 
pretty much does that. Uh, I'm not saying it makes him like unstoppable, but it's a huge scope into making that team and him really like impossible to handle. Just huge, basically. So I think like you know, for me, definitely a hundred percent, probably one of the most ridiculous like combos of units. And Ray Chenron is also really good. He does a lot of really crazy stuff as well. Uh, he does a lot of damage inflicted buffs. He's a flat 25% right off the bat and then does another 15% later on uh, with very easy to suffice conditions. He has 50% chance for paralysis on his attacks. He can add paralysis to his attacks. He reduces key on blast hits. He does a ton of great utility as well. And him combined with uh, Omega Shinron, the two of them together, basically act almost as like a hyper carry in a sense, they make like your third unit. I mean, like they'll make Gogeta literally uh, unattainable, like unstoppable as a force. So yeah, it's good. Uh, not to mention they do some crazy damage themselves. So it's really, really good. And they work on regen, they work on GT, they work on PO, powerful opponents. So I don't want to say it is a must summon, but if you want to run regen, GT, or you want to run powerful opponent then i think you do have to summon um or at least try to because i i think he's that good like I, I think he really is that good and the rest of the band is not bad either two good gt legends winter characters it's really a good time